So you choreographed the whole show, didn't you? I, I did indeed, and um, that's all I was supposed to be doing, actually, just choreographing it. And at the last minute, I kind of got roped in. Um, but you know what? It was the best thing I ever did. It was, it really? was, a mo it was real, real genuine bucket list, actually. Wow. Yeah, two and a half thousand people at the London Palladium, but naked. Well, so. it, was, it was marking the, <laughs> it was marking 20th anniversary of the movie, wasn't it? It was indeed. But more importantly, it had a really important message, wasn't it? It is all about cancer awareness. Exactly. Isn't it? it was about raising awareness for testicular and prostate cancer in men and I cannot wait to do it all again because as far as I'm concerned you can't talk about it enough. Mm. Yeah. You know we made so much noise but it's a noisy place the world isn't it? I mean it comes in one minute and then before you know it it's disappeared and so I cannot wait to get talking about it again and get people really thinking about Will these issues. Will you be issues. as nervous again the second time? You're assuming I'm stripping Colleen. <laughs> well I'm hoping. <laughs> Well, you never know. I, 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 you know what? I'm nervous anyway because we've actually started. We've kind of, you know, we've, we've begun filming. I've kind of got the guys together, and so it's, um, yeah, I'm, I'm nervous for them. Mm. Yeah, because you're going to have to calm them down, aren't you? Because how do you? Because they yeah. probably sign up to do it, and then when it gets in, you're like, okay, this is it, showtime. They're probably thinking, no, can I just back out now? Yeah, that's, okay? that's what you've got to worry about. You've got yeah. to worry about keeping them a group, and not, you know, when you get to the moment, you've got to worry about not losing, losing them. Mm. That's the thing. Are you, are you quite conscious about your body? Like I've, we were talking about working out. Out yeah. Naked? Would you work out naked if it was an option? It'd be a bit uncomfortable, wouldn't it? Yeah, but that's I what mean, I think. Yeah. Imagine a diversity routine. We'd be knocking each other out. Oh well. That's... Yeah, that's, a, that's a bit hopeful, isn't it? Yeah. That's a bit hopeful. Maybe not. Oh, my, that yeah. hat was not that big. Yeah, that. it was a huge hat, Colleen. <laughs> no, it does take. Are, it just... are you conscious about your body? Do you know what? I, I, I think so, yes. Because I think being in the public eye more so, there's this kind of pressure to look a certain way. And actually, I've learned to, I've learned to go, do you know what? I, I'm happy with how I am. I'm happy with how I am at any given moment. I'm always working towards being fit, always working towards being healthy. But I think that you need to be happy with yourself in the moment and where you are on your own journey. Mm. Whatever you look like in that moment, you need to be happy with yourself. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Good confidence stories is about, wasn't it? Yeah. About being happy in your own skin. Completely. Yeah. A lot of it's up here, isn't it? Rather it's, than it's kind of... It's all up there. Yeah. It's all up there. And I think that... You know what? I think that when it comes to looking confident and feeling confident, and, you know, looking at that, it, somehow it is kind of sexualised, isn't it? You look at that, you're looking at us taking our tops off, and actually, on the night, it was anything but. Mm -hmm. And I think that confidence in itself is kind of sexy and it's appealing, and I think that you can look... You can look anyway. Yeah. I think it's, it's all up here and it's all about what you project. I, I think when you talk about prostate cancer as well, I mean, you know, we women talk about all our different cancers, but you don't really hear that many men talking about no. prostate cancer. I mean, my husband, I mean, he's only recently just kind of had a checkup, but yeah. it's something that should be routine, shouldn't oh it? Oh, my God, it's something that should be routine for both men and women. And I wasn't here that long ago, actually, you know, doing an interview, you know, about something else. And funnily enough, taking that, taking that on board, I've been calling the... We've been um, speaking, actually, outside of the studio. And um, we actually did. We had a chat, didn't we, Colleen? We did, And yeah. we had a chat about how, you know, cancer isn't something that only affects men. It affects mm. women as well. And I've done the rule for Monty for men. Mm. And we were thinking about expanding it, weren't we? Well, we were saying about would well, it be good to get a, a, a women full Monty together, weren't we? Yeah, we were. And yeah. I, I think it would be... I think it would be incredible because... So, is this going to happen? Well, I, 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 it is going to happen and I, I'm still... You know, I think Colleen's over the edge. <laughs> are you going to get naked? Girls, they are finally coming out. <laughs> well, that's up to his choreography. <laughs> Do you know what? I think that... We are doing this to raise awareness, to make an impact and make noise, you know, for obviously for, for cancers, but also for body confidence. And I think that if we didn't I mean, get it all out, it wouldn't count, would it? Yeah, and we're still... I mean, we were just talking about it, weren't we? We're still we were. at the early stages. And really early stages. I've got to recruit. You've got women. to. So but this I'm going to you represent. How's that conversation going to go when you start talking to people? Hi, I want to Hi, talk to you. Hi, do you want to get your baps out on? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's I'm, one of those things, though, isn't it? The fact that if I'm sitting in the audience watching you, 
And I'm thinking, if they put the confidence yeah. to do this yeah. mm -hmm. for a really good cause, maybe that I'll have the confidence to go to the doctor with the problem well, that I'm having. That's the whole point. Yeah. Exactly, yes. It, it does make point. you realise that actually, exactly, yes. it, to go back to being naked again, it is our bodies. We've got to look after them and stop being embarrassed about it. Oh, and so if you guys so are willing to do it... many young people you meet go, I don't want to go because I'm embarrassed about, you know, the doctor seeing my breasts. Exactly, or, but what's the alternative? You know? Do you yeah. know what I mean? The alternative yeah. is being extremely ill and potentially dying. It's, it doesn't even compare. It's it doesn't absolutely. even compare. Exactly. So the next we time are at the here, early stages, I'll, can I just well, say... Well, I was just going to say, the next time you I have it here... Fully uh, agree. Uh, are you we're, we're, back we're, come on, come on, Colleen. Come on. Ladies and gentlemen, you did hear it here first. Yeah. So long, Dave. I'm actually saying no. I can't believe you're backing out and you've just announced it. No, she's not. I know. She's going to be All I said was, Ashley, you show me yours, I'll show you mine. Yeah. <laughs>